Josh won the die roll. This hand is very keepable. We don't have the second blue for Dissolve yet, but Seder Wayfinder is a very good card in this format. So hopefully, ooh, double Wayfinder, that's pretty good. Murderous Cut seems amazing when I'm fetching and casting Wayfinders. So, we're going to do that. Eidolon? Eidolon. Wayfinder is less good with Eidolon out, but still pretty sweet magic card. Um, unfortunately, our only grab is a palace, but that's fine. I'm going to be able to double block with Wayfinders next turn, so. Might as well, um, might as well let one attack through. Uh, no land. I'll play the Opulent Palace so that we can dissolve next turn if we have to. scry I'll keep the land on top and I'll pass um I don't have the mana to both bile blight and murderous cut but that's fine nor salt I charm and murderous cut um I'll go ahead and just cut here for three. Uh, Stoke in response. That's what it looks like. Yeah. All right, so Stoke happened and in the interest of not getting burned out, I'm going to pass the turn without casting Kiora. I will go ahead and loot, though. Um, I can discard this, this Wayfinder that's... Uh, not doing much. Ooh, nice. Dig through time is good. I'll bottom a temple and pass the turn. I'm countering any non-magma jet burn spell, by the way. But if Josh doesn't burn me, then I'm definitely going digging through some time. Yeah. Dig through some time. All right. Um, I'll take Island and Dissolve. Seems good. I can interact with pretty much anything. It 
Just keep making land drops. One, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight lands. Uh, preferably, I would have ten in play before I start casting Kiora. So that I can have double dissolve up. I may not end up working out. Uh, I don't think I have enough islands in my deck to not fetch. <coughs> Makes lightning strike lethal, but... I want a lot of blue. Alright, that's good. Next turn I'll cast Cure. With uh, double dissolve back up. Seems really good. Two, three, and a green. Six mana untapped. I'm actually going to minus one here. Um, draw towards a, a villainous wealth. Perfect. The third dissolve is exactly what I needed. Uh, spouts can get bottomed. And it looks like we're in really good shape here. And a confluence cannot deal damage. It is relevant, but maybe not important that if Cures plus one targets Battlefield Forge, uh, Josh can make mana um, Josh can make colored mana without taking damage because of the, uh, the way the wording works. Well then. It's going to be a little while before I can comfortably cast that. But I will eventually be able to. Um, we'll kill off Kiora. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 9 plus 4 is 13. I can hold up triple dissolve. And I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, excuse me, plus 1 mana confluence. So eventually I'm just going to be able to cast Villainous Wealth, but I think taking Kiora up is going to be the, uh, the more efficient way to win because it lets me never worry about not having to keep Triple Dissolve up. Three Dissolves. Three copies of Dissolve. I also think I have the fourth somewhere in my library. I do. Wow. Okay. I have all four copies of Dissolve and the mana to cast all four of them in the same turn. Uh, I'm going to discard Dead Drop because it's a sorcery. <coughs> and I still have hopes of Maybe, eventually, possibly winning with Villain as well. Um, Eidolon can get dissolved. Go 
Got three more where that came from. Bottom of the land. Although I do have to fetch to cast the third one. Outburst can resolve. I have um, Bile Blight. Oh, I don't have to fetch. No, I have to fetch to cast the fourth one. But I don't have to fetch to cast the last one. Or I don't have to fetch to cast the next one, rather. He was just holding up mana for everything. Bioblight can stay. Bile Blight can stay. All right. And then I'm gonna, I wanna hold up Dissolve and Hero's Downfall, so that's six mana, but I'll cast Villainous Wealth with the rest of it. Cast it for five. Ah, uh, yes. So Josh is dead next turn if he can't kill me. Sure. Sure. That's lethal. Even if he blocks. But I'll go ahead and downfall the um, the flame speaker for good measure. Phew. Okay. So. I feel like I played that one quite tightly, holding up the dissolves, um, waiting to villainous wealth, stuff like that. Uh, we'll go to sideboarding. I'm just gonna sideboard the same way I always have. Cut the drop. Dig. Whoops. Um. Dissolves, Wayfinders. Um, sand is not keepable. Sand is keepable, but not fantastic. Bioblade is just so good here. But I just need to find another land, another black source to cast it. Not that, but thankfully Cedar Wayfinder should help. Cedar Wayfinder is a very helpful creature. Helpful Cedar. He finds the way. Oh man, another bio white. 
That is amazing. Um, I'll get the palace. It's not great. Um, so, I have far too many creatures to buy all blight. Having the third land, the, the second black source come into play tapped on turn three was not great. Um, all right, well. Because I have the, the Swamp all Scry here. Definitely want the removal spell. I don't know what I want to kill. Okay, at least... That's happening. All right. That's fine. I'll take four. I can blight the Swift Spears. I can take a, a hit from uh, Prophetic Flame Speaker, I think. Um, scrying with the Temple of Mystery may have been incorrect. Lightning Strike. Lightning Strike. Jeez. So I'm going to two. Yeah. White. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. He does realize he has to pay mana to, to cast the strike. Hold on. Did I miss something? I don't know. I thought I saw two lightning strike triggers pop up, but I guess not. I guess it was like a lightning strike and a stoke the flames. Alright, well we're waiting for... Uh... So I definitely want Dissolve and an Island. It was not a great dig through time, but I mean, I can't complain. Gave me what I needed. So... Um, cuts all right. It's not what I want. It's not ideal, but I don't think I can afford to bottom anything else. 
to bottom it. Um, cure is great. Gains me some life. Alright. Put both cards on top. All right, I'm dead. All right, so that's the game. We'll go to game three. I'm fine with my deck. We'll, uh, we'll submit as is. This is the ultimate game of the ultimate match in this versus series. I will be on the play. Hopefully, okay. Um, I guess I'll keep seven. I need to find a second black source, but that shouldn't be tremendously difficult because I do have this scry. But I'm going to lead on the delta in case I draw... An untapped black source. Um, okay, another delve spell. I mean, I have to keep it. It's not ideal, but... I have to keep it. Um, Opulent Palace. I want to keep hitting land drops now. Because I have the draw spells. So. Okay, great. Josh's hand seems higher on the curve. I guess. Okay. So, um, Flame Speaker is getting hit with this downfall. I want to wait for, I haven't been waiting for Josh to attack enough, um, but I'm, I have to this time, uh, because, well, first of all, I'm sure he's not running anything with raid, but also I don't want him to be able to stoke me in response and use a creature for mana or anything. So that's the, uh, the best, best approach. I really think that the deck he's playing should be Jeskai. Cut is good. Um, I think the deck the deck should be splashing white. Or should be splashing blue for treasure crews instead of white f or instead of black for a murderous cut. That just makes a lot more sense to me. I'm going to dig end of turn if I don't have to cure or cut anything. Okay, so remember to use Chandra. Idle on results. Uh, 
I can cure the Eidolon and then and then dig through time. Don't know why he didn't play the Rabble Master first. That seems strange to me. Okay, uh, what do we want to do here? So six lands. Kiora is great for managing Perforos. But I think I just want to removal spells. I think I just want Charm and Dissolve. Um, okay. So... We're going to destroy the Ravel Master. And then... I think I want to destroy the Chandra as well um, to prevent Josh from drawing a card. Now, this might backfire if he has like a Storm Breath Dragon, which it appears he does. But Murderous Cut can handle that after the fact. Or I'm going down to seven. Um, I'm probably going to end up paying three mana for cut. So that I can dissolve. Yeah. All right. So that answers the Rabble Master. Still in Josh's main phase. Oh, I'm gonna dissolve that Eidolon so fast. That card is not good for me. I will bottom the island. Take one down to six. Um, I'm gonna fetch down to five to make the treasure cruise cheaper. Give myself access to more mana. Three, four. I'll have four left. Four mana left after I draw three. Um, and Cure is going to lock down Perforos. Hopefully that'll be enough, but if Josh has a Stoke the Flames or something like that, we're in trouble. Yeah. So now, if he remembers, he can just pump with Perforos to make the goblin token bigger. Or that. All right, so he got the match. So now we're, uh, it was three, two. So it was a pretty good series. I thought there were some, definitely some interesting situations within the games and there were, there were a lot of decisions, I know. I made a lot of decisions, you can tell, I mean, based on his graveyard, you know. He made a ton of decisions. It was a really, really good match, good games, uh, very good series. Thanks for watching, and uh, check below for my conclusion.